There is no better feeling than once you get the boat fully loaded up, get to the fuel dock, have it all fueled up, and are turning the key to go on your way offshore, not knowing what to expect for the day. Join us on today's adventure where we're going to use the underwater drone to explore under the boat, capturing fish like hogfish and grouper. I'm fishing with sea dew today and we are using live shrimp. All right guys, when I'm fishing for these hogfish, I have my hog ball here. I break off the shrimp head and I kind of hide the hook in this shrimp head so it kind of looks like this right here. We're going to get this down to the bottom. I'm using about 15 feet of 20 pound leader, then some 20 pound braid. All right, we had one potential hogfish this bite. Now we're going to try a secret bait here, a little fiddler crab. Hook them just like that. Ooh, better. Ooh, better. Better grunt. Right. <laughs> this one is hopefully a hog. Ooh. I don't know if you need that or anything. It's a lane. Oh, good lane. Wow, real good lane. Lane snapper here. That's a good sign. You want him? Sure, yeah. All right, well, mangrove snapper here. Yeah. Good size? Good, good size mango. He's on Yeah, oh yeah. All right, guys, we are flatlining here. I have a jig head on. Hogs weren't really biting, but the mangrove snapper I've been biting a bit. So here I have 65 pound braid, 40 pound leader on. Ideally, you'd want to use like 30 or 20 targeting mangoes. Get him! This just seems like a grunt. Oh, another mango. It technically is a keeper mango, but I'll let this one go. He needs to grow up. Maybe we're on a hot little snapper bite. It looks like the bottom's getting fired up. Ooh, Ooh dude. That was a snapper. <laughs> Not a small one either. They're kind of fired up. <laughs> I think it's red grouper, lane, maybe a little hollow. Ooh, big mango. There you go. All right, guys, we just caught this mango on the hog ball. First fish on this new spot. Check them out right there. Just a mango bite, though. Yeah, like that's not a bad fish but we just got on a little school of mangoes but now we're gonna try a different spot if we chummed them up we could get some bigger ones but all right guys now we're gonna be dropping this underwater drone to the bottom seeing what's down there on this epic bite right now We're going to be getting to the bottom with this underwater drone. Currently on the side, you can see the Aquamap, which is the mobile version of Strikeline's Hard Bottom HD chart. You can use code GROUPERMVP to get 10% off that. But let's check this out. Now we're on the bottom and you can see right when we got down, there was a hogfish checking out the drone. And there's two right here, really curious about the drone. Look at that one, just putting aside right next to us. These are good size ones, around 16 to 18 inches long. You can see other reef species, and currently we are on top of the ledge, which when I've dropped this drone down, I've noticed that a lot of these fish like to hang on top as well as the bottom of the ledge. So now I'm trying to navigate this drone to find where the ledge is going to drop off. So you can see I'm looking around, and it looks like this way is going to be where the ledge drops off. You can see there's a little gag group right there that spooked off. There he is again. There's some mangrove snapper here. Now we're gonna be navigating more. There's different reef species like this angelfish, I'm pretty sure they're called, another mangrove snapper. And now we are navigating to the edge of this ledge. You can see there's other stuff like sea fans and some coral. 
That's great structure for hogfish, which is common among these ledges. And now you can look in the distance and it looks like there's some sandiness past this ledge. So now we're gonna be dropping over the other side of the ledge. You can see there's a gag group right there. There's actually a few gags checking them. If you look, they're like hanging down in the rocks. There's another hogfish coming up to the drone. That one is a female hog and you can look to the left. That is a big male hog. And then there's a gag grouper looking right at the drone right now and he's going to spook off of it. But this is about a three to four foot ledge in around 60 feet of water and it holds a ton of fish. You can see that's a nice keeper gag right there. That's probably a 27, 28 inch gag and they are really weary of this drone. There's another hogfish to the side right there. There's another good hogfish down below right here. But the interesting thing is these hogs were not biting here. So sometimes when you're fishing a spot, it's all dependent on the major and minor. And sometimes it's really just based on luck. Some of the times you're fishing a spot, there's tons of hogs down there, but the mangrove snapper and other fish are just gonna beat you to it. Sometimes that could be dependent on the bait you're using. So if you're using like shrimp, a lot of the grunts and stuff can steal that easily, but just look how much life is on this ledge right now. There is tons of mangrove snapper. Just look at them all. And we're just gonna keep exploring. This ledge holds so much fish. This is what's perfect about the Strike Line Tar Bottom HD chart is there is tons of these ledges around out there and there's tons of life. So you can circle around. Not every piece is gonna be holding fish or not every spot on strike lines is gonna be a spot. Sometimes it doesn't show up well, or sometimes you just have to look around the area and then you can find it. But you can check that out. There's a little scamp grouper that just spooked right there. And now we're following two nice gag groupers. You can see them just checking the drone out. They do not let it get too close to them because they definitely do not trust it. There's some grunts, which you always catch when you're out there. And this is just a good spot for hogfish and gag grouper. And definitely going to have to check it out again and I'll show you next time. I bet you we actually do catch hogfish. But just this day was not that good of a day for the bottom bite for us. But there's always next time so you can check this out. And we're actually on a little bit of a time crunch on this day. Brent had to be back in by 3 o'clock. You can check out there is a lionfish right there which this is the first time I saw a lionfish in this shallow. I've dropped the drone in around 110 feet of water and seen lionfish, but this is a spot only in about 60 feet of water. So there's definitely pretty interesting seeing a lionfish. There's another hogfish checking the drone out. And this spot has a lot of structure all around. I'm sure if I went all the way around, there's probably another drop off of this ledge. Brent's on, on three fiddler crabs. <laughs> it's always you need crab feast. Is it a good one? He has potential, but I don't know. I don't think he's going to be quite there. Biggest fish of the day for me. It's a nice red grouper. On the three fiddler crabs <laughs> right there. I'll get a measurement on him, but I don't think he's going to... They got to be 20 inches to keep. Yeah. I don't think he's quite 20 inches. Pretty fish, though. Just had a decent bite. Let's see what we get on this drop. Oh, buddy. This is a nice hit on the way down. Snapper. That or a lizard fish. Oh, grouper. Yeah, grouper. Good to see that they are reproducing. Endangered. <laughs> Peep. Oh my gosh. It's got torched again. Hopefully this is a mango. That's a good hit. They're not even letting me get to the bottom. Nope. Gag. Another gag. These gags are fired up. Maybe I need to put the drone down to scare them. Alright, we are trying to get to the bottom, but these gags keep hitting it on the way down.
tap it again? Yeah, I think so. Or a snapper. Could be a hog, but probably not. Snapper. Alright guys, this is my chasing underwater drone. It has this 300 meter reel and we used it today to explore the spots we were fishing. Saw tons of hogfish and grouper, but the hogs were just not biting. We didn't even catch a single hogfish, but there was a good amount of snapper down there and gag groupers. We even saw a strawberry grouper with the drone and I just caught him and we let him go to live another day. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you the rest of the clips I captured with the drone for this day. You can see on this other spot, when we first got down to the bottom, there was a Goliath grouper. And if you look, I didn't even notice this till after I got home. And he's actually going to go hide under the ledge. So you can see him right now. He's going into the ledge. And it's actually a pretty big ledge here. This is about like a four or five foot relief with a decent little undercut. So you can see... He's going to come sneak up on the drone. There's some silt, but you can still see this Goliath grouper come up under the ledge. And there's other mangrove snapper here. And you can see these fish are not as active as the fish at the other spot, which the bite honestly wasn't that good here during this time. And also it could be because that Goliath grouper is causing these fish to be weary. They're trying to hide in the ledge. They're not trying to be suspended highly in the water column because that could cause like a live grouper to come up and eat them. So maybe that's why these fish are acting like this. But you can see there's still a good amount of mangrove snapper here. In the distance, you can see a gag grouper there. There's another gag grouper. So there's a good amount of fish on this spot. And I didn't see any hogfish at first, but there is actually a few here. And we've definitely caught hogfish on this spot before. Just some days, the hogfish are not gonna show up as much. Or these hogs could be on a totally different part of the ledge. They could be on the back side of it. As you can see, there's a hogfish right there. And that is a little female hog. And normally where there's female hogs, there's going to be big male hogs. So the male hogs could be somewhere else on the spot. Because I was out the other week and we were fishing. And I only saw little female hogs. But we actually caught some big hogs. Which I'll get a video of that up in the next few weeks. But you can see this is a good sized ledge. And just check out all these fish. And then this is actually another spot we were fishing. You can see the water is a little more clear here. I think the spot was deeper than that first spot. So you can check it out. There's a good amount of fish here. You don't see the live grouper this time, but there is a good amount of mangrove snapper. There's a trigger fish again, mangrove snapper and grunts. You didn't see too many grunts at the other spots. And you honestly didn't see too many, but you always catch grunts when you're hog fishing. There's a trigger fish being really curious about the drone. And you can see there's a nice gag grouper hanging down there. So when it comes to hog fishing and grouper fishing, sometimes you're fishing a good spot. It's just these fish are not biting. It's all dependent on the day. Sometimes if it's a clear blue skies day, the fish are just not going to chew. It's always random. But I've always found that around sunset time or in the afternoon, late afternoons, that's normally when I experience the best bites. Also, early morning are the best bites too, but sometimes mid-afternoon, there's a big lull period and you're not going to be catching as many fish. But you can see this is pretty cool. There's a good amount of mangoes hanging on this ledge here. Just check them out. There's a big grunt. And this is another big relief spot. I've actually heard that smaller relief ledges sometimes hold a good amount of hogfish too. So I'm going to have to do some more research with this drone over the next few weeks. Try to see if there's some small ledges that actually hold a good amount of hogs. Because the thought process behind that is, as you can see how many fish and how much life is on this spot. So it's tough competition for these hogfish. Compared to if you're on a small spot where there's not that many fish, but more hogfish, then you're going to be catching a lot more. But you can see there's another hogfish right there. You can also see a gag grouper that is hanging right there. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry for not getting an upload up recently, but I'm going to try for 2024 to get as many uploads as I can. I'm going to prioritize getting YouTube videos up. But if you want to check out my other stuff, I have a TikTok channel, Grouper MVP, also, where I post almost every day right now. So we're going to get some more videos up for YouTube, definitely. I'm going to get up this production quality, get some higher quality videos. Let me know what you guys thought of this video and I will see you all next time. Make sure to check Sia Dude channels out too.